The city of Ferguson is preparing to mark a somber milestone. Tonight, Mike Brown Sr. and other community members led a tribute to honor Michael Brown Jr.'s memory. Fox News' Taylor Harris was at the memorial site after speaking with Brown's father. August 1st marks the day that Michael Brown Jr. graduated from high school and this year, just days before the 10 year anniversary of his death, his father, Michael Brown Sr., joined by supporters and community members, returned to this site where his son's life was taken to rebuild the memorial. This very spot where Michael's body laid in the street for four and a half hours remains a powerful symbol of the national outcry that followed. His death ignited a movement birthing the Hands Up, Don't Shoot campaign initiated by Anthony Shahid, who expressed his frustration that little has changed in the past decade. And I'm giving you my opinion. What I see ain't nothing to change in 10 years. It's way worse. Off camera, Shahid. Wow. So it did change. It got worse. <laughs> They're still peddling this bullshit, man. Right, right. So it didn't change one. The nerve, though. Like, yeah. I, I don't think most people have that type of nerve to say something like this, man. This son, man, it, is living in the top 1% of all lives on the planet. They surely defunded the police. Name a name a black person on the planet who lives a better life than the average run of the mill sun man in America. I mean, I would say like the kings in Africa, right? The warlords. Their lives suck. A you king in right? Africa, a little tribal, like a tribal king, his life sucks ass, Damn. man. <laughs> Damn, really? I mean, seriously, I'm man. Sure. He's eating. He's 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 drinking spoiled goat milk and shit, and uh, no, and he's getting fanned with big leaves by his fucking well, one of his <laughs> thousand wives. Well, well, what about these uh these super crow politicians that are? Like, Dude, I'm that's sitting that's right here with a fan. Okay, you talking about a corrupt, a corrupt, a corrupt yeah. um Mayor Dalton. Season? Uh, yeah, BLM still, leader, all still that. Small, but if you if you count for how many sons they're on the planet, they're just part of the one percent. Yeah, yeah, but, I think so. But but because but he, but some African chieftain or something in some remote village, you know, his life sucks. He's got to watch all his. He's got to you know he's got to be brutal. He's got to watch all his his subjects. You know, what I'm saying he's got to survive assassination attempts. He's got to practice all those terrible customs like i was happy as hell like my son's teeth they can't they cut and the bottom teeth came in first and i was remembering that um <laughs> damn negroes from negro land thing where the top teeth come in first they 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 they, they um they whack all the babies oh, yeah my my, they, my they um, die, i missed that shit no they don't just let them die they 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 grind them up in a mortar in a in a, oh. in a, in a, in a Oh my God. Wait, 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 which is the one they just like let them die? There's one they just I can't like, remember. You remember I think that, that might be twins. That's a twin, yeah. One one of the twins, yeah. They let them. But like people in the town just watch them like dying like out. Oh, like, you talking way. about? You talking about um the, the the little kid that was a witch, man. Uh, they treated him like a witch over there in Africa, man. Um, and people and nobody helps them. Everybody just seems yeah. To nobody, away. yeah. Nobody helps them. Yeah, that um. And that that man. More albino. Yeah. This guy's got it so good in life, man, and he got the nerve to say some stupid shit like this. In the past decade. And I'm giving you my opinion. What I see ain't nothing to change in 10 years. It's way worse. Off camera, Shahid referred to the tragic deaths of Sonia Massey, George Floyd, and others who were killed by police. Mike Brown Sr. shared his feelings as he reflected on the last 10 years. 10 years. Just never forget the Mike Brown. You know, Mike Brown was humanized. I mean, dehumanized as a person. Uh, he uh -oh. had a family. Was a Freudian I'm slip. his father. How, how was he dehumanized? I mean, I, I don't know how he was dehumanized. Like, is that another word for murder? Yeah, he's yeah. saying like the cops dehumanized him by shooting him and leaving him in the street like a dog. After well, he attacked. I mean, that, <laughs> that happens plenty of times. The coroner's, the coroner will van will come up to the scene. The coroner. Yeah, it's normal. 
It's just, you know how sons like to have like little talking points, like yeah. eight minutes, 47 seconds, you know, yeah. oh and a half hours. Like they just like the little <laughs> shit to say. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, 40 acres and a mule. To, yeah, exactly. Salute to um, Rudy the Vet Russo. Yeah, no, VA. shout out to my man. I think that's the trucker. Shout out to Rudy the Vet Russo, man. Um, super no. Super Nola guy says, waving from the wall is deep in the dirty south, man. Sounds One, terrifying. Three, three to four, them dirty red dogs gonna hit the door and they got everybody on their hands and knees and they ain't gonna leave till they find them keys. I mean, he got siblings. You know, he has a mother, he has a stepmother, he has a grandmother, he has two grandmothers that are still alive. You know, people love him. And uh, we will always raise him up high. Supporters brought teddy bears, candles, and flowers, while others wrote messages of hope and remembrance on the ground. This event marked the beginning of the All Roads Lead to Ferguson commemoration, spearheaded by the Michael Brown Senior Chosen for Change Foundation. Twelve other states, uh, we have impacted families who have lost children to police brutality and violence that we serve. Um, and She's wasting her life. This woman is a waste of space. She is literally a failure. If you're in America with everything son's dealing with, with out of control son crime, mass shootings every day, if you're spending a second on this, you're an utter failure. Your life was a waste. There's no money in those mass shootings. She's lying. Yeah, but don't it, it, it make money out of it. Make money. Put some well those those dudes, the safe streets in Baltimore, they making a bunch of money off of it. The violence interrupters in Philly and in in, in, in DC getting grants for the for all that shit. Getting grants just, from the government. You just got a PayPal or hit her on Cash App. Yeah, man, it's money and it's money and violence interrupting and all that and, and working with programs for youth to anti-violence programs. Plenty of money in that shit. It's this, but this right here, uh, just a second wasted on this. And she thinks she's so great. She thinks she's she's just hot shit. The bees in efforts of grief services um, and we do that for whole families as the 10 year anniversary of this pivotal moment in American history approaches supporters told me that the community of Ferguson stands united remembering the past and striving for a better future reporting from Ferguson Taylor Harris Fox 2 News look at how useless our mainstream media is 10 years later and they still can't get this simple story right Telling you, man, they don't want to either. They 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 like that because it goes it goes with Sandra Massey. Like, yeah, look what happened in in back then, and it's happening again. They like leaving, you know, leaving it open ended like that, man. Yeah. You, um, you know what? You know what bothers me? I I always hear this from them, right? She went. She gave a couple of names out, and they never mentioned the Quan McDonald's name. They should put some respect on his name, I because that motherfucker rocked Chicago. I Shaquan McDonald. Laquan McDonald, I came yeah. to the territory of this city, of this country, really. I because I don't know if you heard, right? But they mentioned Rahm Emanuel as a possible VP, and they immediately shut it down, right? Rahm was on his way to possibly becoming president, I and this little clown put a stop to that. And they don't. And, wow. they never put, and they never put respect on that little motherfucker's name. I, he wow, was, I didn't know that. Yeah, you know, not Rahm Emanuel. He was like the chief of staff for Obama. He was a mayor. Yeah, of, yeah. No, I mean he was fast track. He, 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 he was, was going dog. places. That's true. He, he was, was he going. Was a, he was a demon. He was good at what he did. And but, and and it's true that um he was like minutes before he was shot dead from you know lunging at cops with a knife. He was like at an outdoor eating area. He had walked up on those people and was menacing them with a knife and chasing them around with knives. Yeah, yeah. So I'm familiar with the area he was at. That's the Umbrito area he was at, right? And the area, the, the back street he went into, 
was kind of like a, you know, like a, <clears throat> like a bunch of factories, but it, but it's kind of like mixed in with residential, right? Wow. Uh, but in, but in the, at the moment he was there, there was like a couple, two, an unbridled couple. I guess he took his bitch back, uh, out back there to maybe get some head. I don't know. But yeah. here comes this little clown with a knife. And, and you know, he's like threatening them with the knife. He like, he breaks into one of the trucks, tries to take the, you know, the, the truck radios. So the cop, the fucking pigs come. I, and, you know, what happened happened. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that he should have smoked them like he did or whatever, right? But nobody fucking mentions what he was doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I'm telling you right now, I you never hear they mention uh the motherfucker in Florida. They mention him, they mentioned this clown in uh whatever the fuck, Mike Mike Brown, wherever the fuck he was at. They never mentioned the Kwame McDonald. He deserves to be fucking mentioned. Well mentioned him here, man. Yeah, 